Hello, my name is Lucas Hyde, and I've helped over a thousand people become fit and healthy through strength training. In today's video, we're going to be showing you a very quick warm up that you can use for any workout. I personally love to do this little routine before an athletic event like pickleball or ultimate frisbee. When you don't have any equipment out there on the field, you want to be able to prepare your body for intense exercise or that event. And so this comes really in handy. I've also found over the years with my clients that I'll have them go through a similar routine when they're in the office and they've just been sitting for too long. It's a great way to stretch, but not in the conventional sense of static stretching. This actually gets your blood moving and flowing throughout your body to energize you, to make you feel good. And it really just prevents you from getting super tight throughout the day if you do a lot of sitting. So again, great general warm up, but also useful during the day anytime you just feel like you need to move a little bit. It's not gonna take super long, just follow my guidance. Let's get to it. We're gonna start with some arm circles. So we're gonna go palms out, just small arm circles. And we're gonna take our time, just kind of flow through it. Don't feel like you have to spend any amount of time on any particular one of these. We're just kind of going by feel. Uh, once we feel like we're starting to get some work done. Nice small arm circles, really push those palms out, reach the arms and then we're gonna send it backwards, same thing, opposite direction. I hope your day's going well. I hope you're doing awesome. Thank you for clicking on the video. And if you're about to work out, I hope you have a really great workout. We have plenty of awesome workouts that we've been posting. By we, I mean me. <laughs> Let's go big arm circles forward now but I've been trying to make some workouts that are doable for all people of all levels of fitness and whatever you have access to, whether that be no equipment, just dumbbells, just bands. It's kind of what we're working on. So if you want to see more of any particular thing, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. All right, and then we're going to take those big circles backward. Still pushing those palms out. Shoulders are probably starting to burn right about now, and that's okay. We're still warming up, not doing a ton of work, but a little bit of burning is okay. And we can rest them down. Okay, let's shrug them out. Just do some shoulder rolls here. Take them backward and forward, no hard rules. We're just kind of moving. I like to even dance a little bit. Really get the, the heart rate coming up. Get that blood flowing, all right? Let's shake out those wrists, roll out those wrists. Shift the weight around in the hips. Maybe take a big sigh of relief. Ah, just getting energized, getting ready to do something, whether that be a workout, whether it be locking into your next spreadsheet, piece of paperwork, answering emails at work. Whatever you gotta do, stretch it out. I like to work those wrists out. All right, let's take a big inhale. We're gonna go arms up. And then on the exhale, we're gonna fold forward. Not spend too much time here. Just kind of stretch the back of the legs for a second and then bring it back up. Let's hit that again. Let's make sure we're folding at the hips. I'm going to do it from the side. So big inhale and then exhale, fold at those hips. And then you can relax the shoulders down. So we get a nice stretch here and we're not just hanging out in that nice rounded position. Not going to hurt you, but not near as effective if we don't push those hips out. All right, inhale back up to the top. Ah. Let's go into some trunk twists, arms up. We're gonna turn the shoulders against the hips. Nice and easy on these. Don't feel like you need to be violent. Keep those feet planted. It's okay if the hips shift a little bit, but we do wanna turn the shoulders actually against the hips instead of just throwing those arms out or popping those legs up. So keep those heels down. Wanna actually wring out the spine a little bit sounds aggressive but is not that bad for you as long as we're not throwing a bunch of weight and we're not slinging it back and forth all right and then we can rest there we're going to go up into some high knees so main thing is is let's try to bring that knee up above the hip you don't need to run it just big march in place make sure we're pulling the toe up too not pointing our toes like pretty little princesses. Even if you are one, I bet you are. I'm a pretty little princess. 
<laughs> Keep those toes pulled up though. Keeps our front of our leg more active. You do have muscles on the front of your leg. It's usually a highly neglected area, but if we keep those toes up, we're building better motor patterns and we're getting some of that front leg work, which we tend to miss out on. Couple more and that's it. Nice, let's take the hips in real big circles out and around one direction not the boy band. Don't ask me how I know. Guilty pleasure, maybe. Mm, no, more of an in sync guy myself. I think I've been out of date here. Am I making this video in 2006? Let's take it the other way. If you haven't picked up by now through my other workouts, if you've watched any of those videos, I'm a little weird, a little quirky, and that's okay. It's a learning experience for me as well as it is for uh, for you all. The only difference is I'm learning how to make better content for you, how to be myself on camera, and uh, you're learning maybe how to exercise a little better, and that's okay. We're all just learning. Let's go into some butt kicks. Take those knees up. This time you can point the toe back. If you can get it all the way up to the butt, that's fine. Don't feel like you have to though. We really want to stretch out the quads back and forth. Again, you don't have to run it. A lot of people want to do this quick and that's fine if you can do it, but you don't have to, especially if you're warming up to strength train. Don't necessarily need to get your heart rate super high. You just need to get moving. And if you want to move more, you can always move more. I kick my squat rack. We're gonna rest on those butt kicks, shake out the legs a little bit. All right, we're gonna go gate openers, gate closers. So the first one, we're gonna bring the leg up, open the hip out wide, bring it down, and then we're gonna do the other side. Hip up, bring it down, up and out, open in the gate. Same thing as on the high knees, try to get that knee up above your hip. If not, that's okay. Really try to pull it open. Yeah, a couple more. Now we're gonna do the opposite. So we're gonna turn out bow-legged, knee out, pick it up, step over the gate or close the gate this time. Opposite motion. If you're new to my channel, I do also have a podcast that we post. I'm gonna keep plugging it as we continue to go through the warm up. So as you go through the workouts, if you follow one of my workouts or you do your own workout, if you're not doing one of mine, get my podcast to listen to. We talk about health and wellness and we really highlight other people's journeys and what's helped them become strong and build a better lifestyle. Name of it's Lifestyle Strength. If you don't wanna watch it on YouTube, you can watch it on Spotify. Apple Podcasts, wherever you listen to them. I'd really appreciate it if you just gave us a shout. See what you think. Leave us a review. Last thing we're going to do is just some quick jumping jacks uh, or skaters. If you don't want to do jumping jacks, if you can't jump for some reason, that's fine. The skater, we just step over, cross that leg. Step over, cross that leg. Boom, boom, boom. Jumping jacks. We all know it from PE right here. I'm going to do the skaters just because it bounces my bike around and we get a little bit more hip action pushing out. So if you can't jump, this is a great alternative. Jumping jacks, get that heart rate up just a little bit higher, really get that blood flowing. So these things are interchangeable back and forth, really pushing that hip out, stretching that glute mm -hmm. right there. Oh yeah. And that's it. That's our warm up. I hope you enjoyed it. Again, it's quick, easy. Don't forget, if you're about to lift weights, do a light set, do a primer set. That's really the best thing you can do. 
if you're gonna lift weights. So do a light set, you can ramp up in weight. That's my tip of the day. Otherwise, enjoy your game, enjoy your workout. And if you wanna check out one of my workouts, please click the video around here, give us a shout. Let me know what you think. I'll see you in the next one.